Hello and welcome to ITR. In this video, I'm going to talk about the factory reset partition or OEM partition and what it contains. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have already created a video where I showed you on Lenovo laptop that was having Windows 7 installed that what do we have inside the factory image partition. And this video I'm creating on HP laptop and I'm going to show you what is there inside the recovery partition. And don't get confused with the, the recovery partition that is less than one gigabytes that contains the Windows recovery image that simply contains some tools for just repairing your computer. It doesn't, it doesn't have any kind of uh, entire operating system image. So uh, let's show you if I go to my PC and this PC and here you're going to see in HP they have this partition is a drive shown over here drive E recovery and it contains roughly 14.4 gigabytes of content. Now, uh, different manufacturers, they have different ways. Some of them, they assign a drive letter and it's visible over here. Some of them, they keep it hidden. So if you don't see over here, you can simply go to the disk management also. If I right click the start button and go to disk management, there you're gonna see that we have recovery partition. Now on my laptop, I have two drives. One is the NVMe SSD and second one is the, the hard disk. And in case if you have just one disk, so this recovery partition would be sitting inside the, the same physical drive. So over here I have in this drive, and this is the OEM partition. And if I right click, I don't get to see any option. I have just one option that is help. So this is what is containing your entire operating system image. So if I close it, and come back here to see what is the content inside that drive. So if I go to recovery drive, all I see over here is a, a folder or a file that says recovery. And if I just right click and go to properties to see what it contains, it's roughly 400 megabytes of file. So what is there inside this entire drive that is occupying around 15 gigs? So there are some hidden files we need to just show them. So if I go to view options, and go on to the view tab and from here I opt for show hidden files and don't hide operating system protected files click on yes and okay and now you get to see all the files over here so what files are there is the first folder that you are seeing is boot that basically contains the boot configuration database that is used for when you are booting up in a windows legacy BIOS mode EFI is the folder that is used for when you are booting up your PC in uh, UEFI mode. Preload is the folder that contains the entire operating system image. So uh, if I simply double click on those folders, you just see this window uh, custom shell that doesn't show the contents of that folder, but shows that it's a HP recovery partition giving you a warning that this area of your hard drive or a partition contains the files that are used for push button reset or uh, HP rec image recovery and do not delete or alter these files. So how this thing works is there's a configuration file and INI file. If I delete that INI file, then it, we will be able to see the contents. Or uh, if I directly go it from command prompt, I can see the contents inside that folder. So if I just simply type in CMD on the start button and go to that drive. So my drive is E, so go to E drive. And uh, let's make the font bigger. So if I go to E drive and I say CD boot, and if I say DIR, I don't get to see anything. DIR forward slash A, show me the hidden files. And there you're gonna see that we have a INI file, desktop.ini that contains the code. So clear the screen, uh, open in notepad, desktop.ini. And this contains the, the GUID for that custom shell that is uh, hiding the contents of that folder. So I simply copied that GUID and now I need to go to the registry, Windows registry, reg edit. And here we have to search in the in the HK classes root, control F, control V. And it's gonna take me to that location where we have all those settings. So you can see that I'm over here. This is the GUID of that. 
that we were looking for and it is HP recovery partition guard if I expand it further you're gonna see that this is the default icon that icon you were seeing for that folder and then when you double click on that this is the custom DLL that gets executed and shows that page that it's a HP recovery partition doesn't show you the content of that folder so for safety purpose you can just export it to save the registry as a file and you can get it back I have already so I'll just simply delete this okay so now if I close this and come back here and just refresh this page you're gonna see now it's showing as a normal folder if I go inside I can see the contents of that folders so this is the folder that contains the boot configuration database so here we have BCD boot configuration database and next folder we have the for UEFI configuration we have boot x64 EFI that is used for booting in Windows EFI mode and then we have the preload folder that contains your entire operating system image and this is the folder that takes your entire spacers can say it's 12.2 gigabytes it is occupying and recovery image recovery folder it contains simply a Windows RE Windows recovery environment that is used for repairing your PC sources doesn't have anything and nothing else and uh, so if we go to preload what we have in preload is it contains the WIM file and particularly in this case we have only this is the main WIM file that entire operating system contains so it has been a split into multiple files so install.wim here they have like 41 files splitted around 300 megabytes each and same thing happens in your windows installation media if I go to your windows installation media uh, the windows 10 September 2018 was around uh, 4.72 gigabytes if I double click on that and if I go to sources and here we have install.wim and this is that WIM file it's basically a zip file you can say that contains the entire operating system folder so this is that image so the same image has been splitted over here that you were seeing over here in in the preload so whenever you do the factory reset it's all these files get copied to your C drive and then you are ready to go so now the question arises that whether we should keep it or we should delete it now the problem is that when I got this PC it was like in 2018 it was having 1803 that is version Windows Windows 10 version 1803 now we have the latest version on 1909 so it doesn't make sense to keep such old operating system so you can delete it and we can just rely on reset this PC option and if you are in need of having extra space available you can simply make the recovery drive I have already shown a video on how to create a recovery USB you can create a recovery USB or recovery DVD and keep along with you and then you can delete this partition now what is the way to delete this partition I can use uh, the software HP recovery manager the option available if I go to HP recovery manager and there we have option available remove recovery partition so it will delete that factory install software backup image to free up the hard drive space so you can simply select that option and delete that partition or if you ha don't have the software or if you are using any other manufacturer laptop you can simply go to command prompt and you can delete using this part I have already created a video on how to delete an OEM partition please check out that video so that's all about it hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video